Here's a small introduction to my APC UPSD monitor application for Android. In this cabinet I have two APC units, one in here and one in here. Uh, one of these is connected to Raspberry Pi, so it's running Linux as an operating system and it, uh, another is connected to Windows host, which is running Windows version of APC UPSD. One of these is using for, for the connection is using SSH and the other one is using the APC UPSD port 3551. The Android application you can add new UPS devices from right bottom corner. This application supports two types of connection methods. One is using SSH and the other is using 3551 APC UPSD port. With the SSH you need to give address your SSH port, give either username or if you are using the private key you have to select the private key with this button here. And if your private key has password, you have to give it here. The other method is the APC UPSD port. If you select that method, you only need to give your server address and port, which by default is 3551. When you have added your UPS devices, the application will check for new data. Here's the loading bar in the top. If you want to delete your UPS, you just have to swipe from right to left until you see this delete and just release it like this. There's a confirmation dialog before deletion. If you want to edit your existing UPS device, you have to swipe the other direction and let it go from here and it will open settings. To see detailed view of status and event logs, just tap the item and you will have a list of events and the detailed item information what you have selected to be shown. You can change what is shown from the settings here. I have some experimental extra features like graphs which are showing how much the UPS have been on battery power. To update only the data from for one UPS device, you can in this view refresh from top like this. To refresh the information on the main view, you can either press from the top here or you can swipe down like this. And that's it for this application. Thank you for watching.